The Last Duel on HBO Max is a must watch. I have to say, you know, I, I don't remember the last time I went to the movie theater. It was probably around April of 2021 or before that. I don't remember. It's so funny because I saw a TV ad of like a, like going to the movie theater. <laughs> it was like a, a, an ad for the new Tom Holland movie. And I was like, oh, they're still like people still go to the movies. I haven't done that in it's going to be a year. Because why would I when I have HBO Max, when I have, you know, Netflix, why would I go to the movies? And the other thing to note is that even though I am a filmmaker and I love watching things in quality full screen, I'm just, and I have a, I have TVs in my house that I can watch movies on, but I still use my laptop. I feel like that's what everyone does. Yo, the Gen Zers are using their cell phones. At least I have a bigger screen. But either way, The Last Duel. I love this movie. It's a long movie. And I can tell you I did not watch it in one sitting because, like, I'm a millennial. Come on, my attention span. Uh, but I did. But you could take it. You could break it up. You could break it up into, like, two or three pieces. Like, you know, you come, you go, you come, you go. It's like watching a, your favorite TV show or something. You come, you go, you come, you go. Um... <laughs> But either way, that movie is so good. And let me tell you something. The first 40 minutes, you're going to be like, okay, like, what the hell? Like, you get the point, but you just don't get why they're showing you the way they're there. It's, I don't know. It kind of drags. The first 40 minutes kind of drags until, I guess, everyone knows the premise, right? Let me, let me read let me read out the premise so I don't give any spoilers. Oh, they don't tell you what the spoilers are. Okay, I can't spoil it. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it. But what I will say is that... But before we get into that, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. It really pushes this video out in the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos. This video is brought to you by MintedCulture.com. My, my new website, MintedCulture.com, where you can find out everything that I'm doing, everything I'm doing, all my new videos, I post twice daily, two different videos from two of my different channels, the Canamo Show and this channel, Brand Video Pro. I post there every single day. Also, you go to mintaculture.com and you can book a consultation with me, a one-on-one -on -one consultation. And we talk about Web3, the metaverse. We talk about filmmaking, documentary filmmaking, you name it. All of it is on there marketing your business all that so go book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and yeah just go check it out mintedculture.com okay let's keep going in the first 40 minutes it's gonna get interesting you're gonna be like whoa what because you, you don't realize that's where the story is going but when it goes there you're gonna be like whoa and then the direction that they take for the rest of the movie is like interesting because they show you different perspectives basically there's like a crime that takes place and then they show you different perspectives that's how the rest of the movie goes and i just loved it because you're seeing some of them you're seeing the same scene but it's shown from a different perspective and it just reminds me of when they say there's your side my side and the truth there what do they say there are three truths right your side my side and the truth right or his side, her side, and the truth. And in this, they kind of showed us the three per the three leads. They showed us the three, like three of the leads, their perspectives, which is so different. Because how you perceive a scene is how you perceive a moment is going to be so different to you than it is to others. But you might not, you might assume that what you're doing is not disrespectful, but you don't know how other people receive that and the way that they, how they feel about what, what you do, right? And that's, the movie really captured that, the essence of that in a very magical way. And of course we have a great actor in Matt Damon. It made me really fall for, um, what's his name? Adam Driver. I mean, he's just very good looking, but he's like unconventionally good looking. You don't expect that he's good looking. He has a great body. And of course, I love Jodie Comer. 
she they love putting her in period pieces she's just really great she has a great voice great accent in these period pieces all in all great movie a must watch i think and it just makes me miss that era of i just miss watching period pieces i love period pieces but i also miss going to the movies but i would never have been able to sit through this two hour and 30 minute film in a movie theater it would have been like so tedious and that's one thing about cinema that is declining it's our attention spans we don't want to go to a movie theater and watch a two hour and 30 minute movie but break this up pause it go do something else come back and finish it you have me hooked okay interstellar is the only movie that i accept being two hours and 30 minutes every other movie that's been that long it's just been unnecessary anyway this is a great movie go watch it tell me what you think if you have watched it let me know your thoughts leave a comment down below this is really for those people that love period pieces if you don't like that genre then maybe it's not it's just not going to do it for you but it's like i think for me what i love about it is that it's just so simple and subtle but yet so moving emotional and impactful and when you see the movie you, you'll know what i'm talking about so leave a comment down below if you've watched it let me know your thoughts and yeah leave a comment down below anyway my name is Kerem and see you next time a peace